Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, we're going to talk about sunglass lenses and the different tints for different situations. This is actually a request from a viewer, Joel. So, Joel, thank you for the request. It wasn't really a question. It was, it was, uh, he was just requesting that I kind of go over my opinions on the different lens colors for sunglasses. And it's a really good topic. I really haven't talked a lot about it. Uh, and, and, Personally, I understand the struggle choosing sunglass tints because over the years, man, it's just like, you know, looking for the right crankbait. There's all different types of crankbaits and all different types of colors. Uh, and, you know, finding the right combination can be really uh, overwhelming. But really, there are some basic fundamental things that you need to think about when it comes to sunglasses that I think will help you choose the right sunglasses, to, whether you're you're going with with uh, any brand, you know, whatever brand you're going with, these are going to apply for those those different brands. So uh, first off, I need to mention, uh, if I look a little bit red today, uh, it's because I'm doing, I'm burning a slash pile right now, just kind of clearing up the yard and things like that. And uh, so I've got some soot on me and I probably am having a little bit of a reaction to some poison ivy or something. My wife said I was, I was pretty red. So if I look real red, that's the reason. Um, but anyways, let's dive right into it. Um, so first thing I want to mention is that, that as far as lens tints and lens colors for sunglasses, there are some that are more versatile. You can use them in, in bright conditions, cloudy conditions, fog, uh, driving, fishing, whatever activity you're doing. And then there's some that are a little bit more uh, of a narrow spectrum. They're, they're a little bit more specialized. So we're going to kind of go over those. Uh, but the first one I want to talk about is a very, very uh, uh, um, general lens tint that, that is going to be good for a lot of different situations. And it's a very versatile lens tint. And that one is going to be gray. So when you're talking about lens color, you're really talking about, for the most part, not necessarily what you're seeing on the outside here, it's more so on the inside, okay? So you're not ju judging a book by its cover in this situation. Uh, a lot of, of uh, sunglasses will have a mirror uh, tint on the outside, but the base tint is actually something completely different. And the base tint really is what you need to pay attention to most. But this right here is gray. Um, some companies will call it like polarized, uh, you know, uh, smoke or, or, you know, just gray in general. Um, whatever brand you're, you're, you're talking about, a gray based uh, lens tint is going to be very versatile. Okay, you can use it in deep water, you can use it in shallow water, sunny conditions, cloudy conditions, fog, partly cloudy, whatever the situation is, gray is actually a pretty well-rounded uh, base color, base tint. So this is one that, that I'll use in a lot of different situations. And if I have to grab one, this this may be the one that I grab. Uh, it's also a really good one while I'm driving. I like to, to use gray a lot. Um, and it, it really does make to make a lot of colors pop, it enhances uh, you know the the colors of everything around you, and uh, and again because of that versatility, it is a really good uh, singular choice. That being said, that is more what you're going to read on a the website of a, a sunglass company, and uh, it, and it's true. But I will tell you that I prefer to, to use gray or, or smoke or what, you know, a gray based tin, tint. Uh, I like to use it for deeper water fishing in slightly sunnier conditions. So either bright conditions or, or like uh, partly cloudy. That is my favorite situation for fishing gray. Uh, also, while I'm driving to, um, that, that's when I like to use these. And I do need to mention, I'm showing you these sunglasses. These are by a company named Torch. Uh, my good friend, Lewis Wellen, he started this company and he has a, a, a deep history with, uh, with uh, one of the greatest, uh, biggest sunglass companies in the, in, the, in the world. And he ended up branching off and creating Torch and he knows how to make sunglasses. So uh, if you guys are interested in sunglasses, check them out. I'll put a link in the description below uh, to their website, but um, that's that's what I like to wear, uh, but I've used a lot of different sunglasses, and that's why I can say that that the things I'm going to be talking about today apply to any brand, pretty much. Um, all right, so gray, very versatile. 
a lot of different situations you can use it in. So let's get a little bit more specific, okay? So the other two lenses that I like to, to have in my boat uh, are going to be bronze. And uh, again, it's gonna have a little bit more of a, a grayish, um, uh, there's another one that, that is a little bit more specialized but has a gray base but it, it is a little bit more perfected for deeper water fishing. Um, but let's talk about bronze, okay? So bronze base, this one right here, like I was saying, it has that, that green mirror tint on the outside, but really bronze is what, what this, this, um, this lens tint is really uh, all about. Um, so bronze is a really good all around um, a lower light condition sunglasses for me and also shallow water. So low light, shallow water conditions, that's when I like to use bronze. Bronze based tint sunglasses tend to bring out a little bit more light and they also tend to make uh, a lot of the greens and browns of shallow really pop. So like if I'm sight fishing, if I'm uh, you know looking for those beds or looking for the fish specifically, I really like a bronze tint sunglass. So when I'm shallow water power fishing, sight fishing, any of that stuff, I'm going to be putting on a bronze uh, tint lens. Now this one is called shallow polarized and, uh, and that's because Torch specifically designed it for shallow water fishing. Um, and, but any bronze, any bronze and even, even those copper tents are going to be really good for lower light conditions. You can use it in bright conditions too, but I like them for lower light conditions and shallow water. So that's where I like to use bronze and some coppers too. Um, the next one that I want to show you, this one is, is another one that is specific to Torch. Um, this one has a blue mirror uh, outside, but the base is kind of a, a gray. Okay, so this one right here, this one's going to be really good for the brightest conditions. This is what I like to use uh, this, this uh, lens tint. This is called deep polarized. I like it bright conditions and when I'm fishing offshore. It really reduces a ton of glare and, uh, and allows you to fish in those bright conditions without any eye strain. And so that's where I like to use this one. Again, it's a gray base. Uh, primarily, so it, it's going to be very versatile. But for me, I'm putting this on when, when you know, I got something blue that I need to, to be all matchy matchy about, or if I'm fishing deep and the the sun's out and it's just real bright. So, um, and that kind of applies to a lot of different sunglass companies. Some of them will have. Um, I know that there's a couple companies that have specific lens tints that have the uh, you know a certain um the base tint and then they have the mirror on the outside but again pay attention to the actual base tint what you're seeing when you're looking through the business end of the sunglasses so what you're seeing through those sunglasses is what matters it's not really what what's on the outside as far as the length of the like mirror finish that they've got on them uh if that makes any sense but anyways guys Thank you, Joel, for the question, but that is kind of my explanation. I try to keep it simple. I try to stay with, with uh, a, a couple different type of gray-based tints for, for deeper, brighter conditions, um, or deeper water and brighter conditions, and, uh, and also driving. And then I like my bronzes uh, for shallow water um, and lower light conditions. Those are the two different uh, base tints that I tend to focus on in general. But those are the three sunglasses I carry with me. The only other tints that I carry with me are, you know, sometimes I carry a, just a yellow base tint. And that one is just for pretty much blast off in the morning. Uh, maybe it's foggy and I really need to brighten up everything so I can, I can see everything a little bit better. Uh, and, uh, and then I also sometimes just carry a clear lens, um, for those, those, um, you know, foggy mornings, again, darker, darker mornings, uh, when at, at blast off, you know, or when I just, you know, there's a little bit of rain or something, and I'm just trying to keep the rain off of my eyes. But anyways, guys, Joel, again, thank you for the question. And, uh, if you guys have any questions at all, that's one of the ways that you can support this channel, uh, Sonar Fishing, uh, Ask me any questions that you want me to do a video on, and that helps me come up with content. So that's one way to um, support this channel. Also, another way 
This video, I'm not gonna have a affiliate link, but a lot of other videos, I will have an affiliate link of the tackle that I talk about in my videos, and you can click on those links to get 10% off of your order with 44tackle.com if they have the product. And you, uh, it, it also kicks back to, to me to support this channel. And also make sure you like, share, subscribe, and, uh, and you know just share this with your buddies. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you out on the water. A little bit clearer, because great sunglasses.